Not, that's not to my own horn or anything, but I think I play a pretty, pretty vital part in um, the winning uh, culture that we have here at Hebron. You just won an enormous 9-3 to three comeback. Hebron on the comeback. Did not giving him a chance. It's this rhythm. They shut it down. Uh, I'm Oxford Condola. I'm a junior. And what got me into gaming is that ever since I was young, my family, friends, and my cousins, we used to... um play a good amount of CSGO and um, some Overwatch too. And then from there, it was just like gaming in my free time until like one day I just learned about the game Valorant. And then from then on, it's just history. When I finally learned about Valorant, it was like the first game that I was naturally good at from the start. I organized the scrims and as president of the club, I um, tried my hardest to like get our word out there and then I try and get as many people involved as possible. And I think it's great that um, like I'm learning all these skills now because it's definitely going to come in handy in the future. So like our Valorant team going all the way and like winning nationals and all that in our first year of creation, like set up a lot of interests revolving around like the club at our school. It's like an honor to be able to pioneer that for my school and my districts. So obviously it would be nice to be back to back national champions. So that's going to be one of our um, biggest goals going forward. Being the most valuable player just shows how much like to our district and to our community, how much esports can actually sh like impact like a person's life and stuff. Like winning the most valuable player award will like show to my parents and like my family, my friends that like esports is a real extracurricular that can be dominated by a current school. And honestly, I just be really appreciated because uh, it's been a lot of hard work that my team has been putting in. And I think that um, my MVP also reflects like as my team's MVP.